Trees are the enemy must eliminate trees. berries was edible again. Damn those scorched! 
I can't bear to see another friend turn. All wood must be chopped. Lumberjack project John does not want to lose Lumberjack job to key human labor. I hope those raiders know that we mean them no harm. Why does everyone so squabble all the time? We have to come together to survive. A responder's job is never done. Protectron cuts down trees, but does not require punch or laboratory facilities.
Russell Dorsey, Brotherhood Initiate. Welcome to Fort Atlas. Uh, looking to sign up? Or just curious? Well, either way, I guess it's not me you want to talk to. Most of the fort's off limits to civilians, but if you're interested, Knight Shin's in charge of the new recruits. He's very serious about protocol and security, so I'll have to speak to him first if you want to get anywhere. Don't worry about the bots. They're working for me. The outer perimeter is still unsecured, the provisions aren't properly stowed, and we're awash in hopefuls. I have no time to be babysitting civilians. Your duties are what I say they are, Knight. Your objections are noted, but this is a direct order from your commanding officer. Help us put on a good face for the local people. We've just moved into their backyard. They're nervous. Show them we mean no harm. If you insist, Paladin. If there's nothing further, I'll have the completed report on your desk shortly. I expect nothing less from you. As you were, Shin. Paladin. Fortifications appear adequate. All if you're here with a request for the Brotherhood, get in line. I don't have time for you right now. Diddy. Initiate Dorsey is supposed to be manning his post at the entrance, not acting as my secretary. Go on. 
Let us take care of things here. I am not known by my initiates for tolerating foolishness, outsider. Persist in that tone, and you will learn how much less I tolerate it from civilians. Hmm. Initiate Dorsey is too trusting. But I can't fault his commitment. Perhaps he sees something in you worth our interest. Are you another aspirant to our order? The if you mean that, the then you are right. But if that's sarcasm, I recommend you stow it. Immediately. Normally, might stick you with the other hopefuls until we decide whether you're worthy. But if you're serious about joining us, you've got good timing. There's something you could do for me that would help the order and demonstrate your qualities as a candidate. We've had a number of civilians show up here at Fort Atlas asking for one thing or another from the Brotherhood. People are afraid or want something or are looking to involve us in local squabbles. Civilian outreach is not my specialty. There's too much left to do to secure this facility. If you're really interested in helping, save my time. Interview the petitioners, find out what they want, and report back to me. Do this right. Don't make me regret giving you the opportunity. Conduct yourself properly, and we can consider putting you forward as an initiate candidate. Old world science solved a lot of problems back in the day. But look what else we're doing. Glad we guard our tech closely. You better have something useful to say to me. We should spend less time mourning for oh. clients. Can't even come to me himself? What, he needs to requisition some more armor polish? All right, all right. Keep it cool, Sean. Radiation so, what's he got to say to me? This the problem is that a couple of these brotherhood clowns showed up and took a bunch of my stuff at gunpoint. Now, I'm a peaceful man. I really am. I sure wasn't equipped to deal with armed thugs requisitioning the little I've managed to put together for myself. Never understood the Raiders. I imagine the brother. I like the quiet life. I don't need much, and I need trouble less. But after this, oh, I get it. I came here to give the Brotherhood a chance to make things right. Else, maybe I go to Crater and start doing things their way. At least they don't pretend to be the good guys. What else did you want? I'm a scavenger mainly. Always been pretty good with a set of tools, so I do all right for myself. What is it now? Yes. Something I can help you with? I am waiting to speak with a Brotherhood representative. I have no interest in small talk with strangers. The severe gentleman in the power armor, yes. Dr. Edgar Blackburn at your service. And what did Night Chin want to know? I had heard that the Brotherhood possessed advanced technology. As a doctor and a scientist, this was of great interest. My research is always in need of equipment and materials rather difficult to obtain by scavenging and bartering. I came to see if an arrangement could be made, but from what I can see of your operations, they are as yet still in too much disarray. Given the state of my fellow supplicants, I would hypothesize that their needs likely outweigh my own. Thank you. Be well. Did you wish to speak with me? Well, now look at you. You with these steel brother fellas? I've been waiting a good spell to talk to them. Well, it's about time. I'd like to die of old age waiting on them. Name's Art Knapp. So, what's this night fella sent you for? A fair trade's what I want. I've heard stories about these steel types back in the day. <laughs> they was going around taking things from folks. 
For the cause, they said. Yeah. Like that don't make them raiders, too. Well, I ain't got much. I already got to worry about raiders. So, I reckon it's better to make a deal up front. My farm don't produce much. But I got some extra. And I expect they'll have a use for it. In return, I want these steel boys and girls to keep raiders away from my farm. Heard a lot of noise they was on our side. So, seems fair. Fair enough. Can't expect more than that. Thank you. You take care too. This better be worth it. Local recruits appear healthy. You looking at Hey! Yeah, you. Who do I need to talk to around here? You know, about the guns? You don't look like one of these brotherhood yahoos. Name's Tally Lang. What's your deal? Shin? He the scary guy with the stick up his butt? All right, Ain't shoot. No kind of life wrapped up in metal. Yeah, that's right. Big shiny guns. Now all the talk in the area is about these brotherhood folks with their high tech toys, and I thought, Tally, you gotta get some of that for self defense, of course. Uh, just so me and, yeah. and some of my poor innocent can friends can protect shortly. ourselves from. All the nasty folks out there. I imagine the Brotherhood would object to a collection of blood samples. Hey, I get it. The promises backfire all the time. Well, go get him, Tiger. Hey, hey, here comes trouble. I hope. This place goes sour and we're all in for it. Mark my words. The fight is just beginning. Have Stay you finished the task I gave you? Good. Let's get this done. I have the list from their arrival. Give me the high-level overview. We'll make Atlas stronger than Fort Defiance ever was. The Brotherhood is not a charity, and our mission does not cover providing civilians with equipment to pursue their personal interests, unless the Doctor intends to provide that research to the Brotherhood exclusively, and under our supervision, he will get nothing. That shows commendable discipline. Scribe Valdez may have interest if he returns, but if so, he is her problem. That appears to resolve the matter on our end. Next report. We are not mercenaries here to serve as guards for anyone with some goods to trade in payment. This is not a charity. As a civilian, you are free to play hero for everyone that comes to you with a sad tale. The Brotherhood, however, has a duty to its mission, and that does not include playing bodyguard. Enough about that. What's next? No, we are not arms dealers. At Victoria. There was never any circumstance in which I would authorize weapons to that woman. But your vigilance is noted. Moving on. Impossible. Whatever happened, it was not us. Hmm. That sounds like something Paladin Romani would say. But what he believes is of no concern of ours. Our people did not rob this man. We are not involved, and it should remain that way. One day I'll make night. That's everything. And I'll show those raiders who Against lost. my initial judgment, you have Boy, shown that you can take orders hands. and make yourself nice useful for the Brotherhood. Well. You need to lose those soft civilian instincts, but I will make note of your assistance in my report to Paladin Romani. Should you wish to join our ranks, I will not oppose your enlistment. I grant you permission. Visionally, to the compound proper. Go to our scribe Valdez. You will need her support as well if you want Paladin Romani's attention. Be vigilant, outsider. 
This place goes sour and we're all in Do not it. attempt to access I'm the secure mother. parts of this facility, civilian. We are watching you. Each day in service of the Brotherhood is a step forward. Forge it anew. Now let's take another one. Learning, protection. I have everything I need here. Learning, protection. I have everything I need here. If you're here to join... Hello, civilian. I don't mean to be rude, but what exactly are you doing up here? I'm never gonna make a name for myself if I don't look for it. When do I get to go out and prove my worth? Oh, a prospective initiate. The Knight Shin sent you. And I guess we're both in luck. Paladin Romani makes the call on new recruits, but the Knight and I have some influence. It just so happens I'm in need of someone to help me out on a little mission. If you're interested, I can bring you along and put you to work. Do a good job, and I'll send a recommendation your way. Waiting, civilian. How about it? New recruits, Night Shin's training, weapons, and a base like this? We're gonna be invincible. Didn't even have to think about it, did you? Let me give you a quick rundown of the mission before we start. Our new base is littered with old technology, but there's something in particular I want to investigate. It's down in the bowels of this place, a, a part of Atlas that we've cornered off. I'm not keen on going alone, so I'd like some Find, backup. Protect and preserve. Any questions before we start? Great. Unfortunately, I need to finish up a few things here. Head downstairs and I'll meet you in a bit. Don't mind this clutter. Atlas is a work in progress. The Scorched, the Raiders... Scorched Raiders the Wolves. Is that anything? Good, you're here. So, how do you feel about reading comprehension? I was hoping to start out by sweeping the area for documentation left behind from before the war. Are you trying to get on my good side? Because that's how you get on my good side. But enough about that. I'd like to get started. Let's head downstairs and see what we can turn up. some of his hollow tapes and logs in our initial sweep of the area. This tech down here is his handiwork, and he couldn't give it up. Even after the war, I should make arrangements for a proper burial. Here's one. Finally, real scribe work.
This looks like what we need. Here's a document. I think this is good. Let's talk for a sec. That should be enough to start. Let me take a look. Atlas decommission report. Hmm. So the project was in bad shape after all? I knew it sounded too good to be true. Fascinating. Wow. This is some seriously classified stuff that I just let you read, isn't it? I wasn't supposed to show you any of this. Well, Night Shin did send you, so I guess I can trust you with a little information. There's only so much I can tell you, but I'll share what I feel is relevant. Atlas wasn't exactly an observatory before the war. That was just a front. The military conducted research here. Pretty advanced research. We're down here to investigate and see what's worth salvaging for the Brotherhood. I did ask you to help, after all. It's only fair you're prepared for what you might find. Now, let's follow up on some leads from this report. I'd like to do a quick inspection of some key components that should be nearby. There's probably a terminal around here. If it's still running, we can do a diagnostics test. That will tell us about some of the less accessible hardware. The report mentioned that the machine's intake pump was under a lot of pressure. Let's find the release valve for that and give it a spin, see what happens. Finally, the lower core on this level should have a wiring box. Why don't we take a glance at that to get an idea of the electrical hookups? Should be a simple inspection. You can have point, but I'll be looking over your shoulder the whole way. Take note of the details and we'll discuss how it goes after. Interesting. does it for the inspection. Let's talk.
All right, let's go over the inspection results. The diagnostics check revealed some issues. Flux disruption in the induction loop. Intake valves ruptured. And the ion focus? Misaligned. Problematic to say the least. Next, we have the release valve. That went. Well, what was your assessment? Not okay. Explosive decompression is not what we're looking for. Last but not least, the wiring. The wires were... Yep. I think the warm reception they gave us also points to that. Okay. Well, sorry about the pop quiz. But in general, you're handling yourself well. Nobody does, outside of a classroom. That's why I love to evaluate new prospects this way. If I'm going to recommend you to Paladin Romani, I need to know you're serious. Can you pay attention? Think on your feet? If you can, you are in my favor. If you can't, then, well, maybe I reconsider my recommendation. I'm worried about what our inspection turned up. There are a few parts I'd like to extract and examine in my lab. There's the pressure gauge, the core processor, and the ion focus. They should be upstairs. There's a lot I can learn from examining them if we can pull them out and get them back to my lab in decent condition. I want to take some notes on the core up there, so I'm going to leave the parts removal to you. Each extraction will be a little different, but in general, you'll want to use a light touch. I want the components in good condition, so please be careful. Any questions, or are you ready to get started? I'm counting on you. Let's see what you can do. Can you pick up the induction coil up there on the machine core? That doesn't sound good.
Whew. Whatever you did up there, the security system sure didn't like it. Thanks for the backup. I doubt I could have handled that on my own. Now that that's over with, let me take a look at what you've collected. The pressure gauge looks like it's in good condition. The core processor is pristine. Good work on that. The ion focus looks usable. Impressive. The induction coil seems fine. That's a relief. And what is this? Hmm. This is... Is this ultrasight? <laughs> Fascinating. This looks like some kind of compact power source. None of the documents, none of the terminals said anything about this. Did this power the whole machine? The fuel of the future. I'd heard the stories, but to think I could hold so much energy in my hands like this? Project Atlas may be beyond our power to repair, but we might have something here. I expected the machine to use a small reactor's worth of energy. They condensed that into a container I can hold in my hands. Oh, I could do a lot with this. You were a big help. I'm sure you have what it takes to be an initiate. And soon. Here, take this letter to Paladin Romani. She'll make the final call on letting you into the Brotherhood, but my wreck may tip the scales. <laughs> I'm going back upstairs to take a look at these components. I need to catalog our findings. If nothing else, this ultrasight battery has piqued my interest. There's a lot I could learn from reverse engineering it. <laughs> oh, I'm giving you access to my private terminal, too. It has all the logs we recovered from when we moved in. After what we just went through, I think you deserve to know more about Project Atlas. Take a look if you get some free time. Thanks again for your help, and good luck with the Paladin. We're building something big here. Don't get left behind. Keep fighting out there. I thought running my own operation would involve this much paperwork. <laughs> 